All right, guys, here is the beginning of my next painting. I'm loving this green, and I did polka dots. I'm not much of a polka dotted kind of person, but yeah, so we'll see if those stay, but I do like the little bits of blue. Just wanted to give you one update, update. I wanted to pick up the camera and show you guys this painting because I am in like totally lost mode. I have been working on this for days and days, and this has gone through multiple transitions. You can see the leftoverness of my last or my first table this is my second table there's been all kinds of animals in it i wish i had been documenting it from the very beginning because if this turns out really good it would have been fun to see all the transitions i really like how this guy has turned out and i'm liking the binoculars I liked some other things well you can see look so this ball was on the first table and it was big and then i kind of like chopped it up or like painted into it to put it on this table. I'm just definitely not liking it. It's feeling a little kid book, cartoony with this. I don't know, I'm feeling very lost too. I started like just chunking in big chunks of color and losing all the background. So I feel very overwhelmed by it. I thought I was just gonna completely start over or paint completely over it, but I am gonna have to lose some things that I like to hopefully be able to save the whole painting. You just have to do that sometimes. You have to be willing to sacrifice what you like to hopefully get something maybe that you love. So I'm feeling okay with the composition maybe of that table and I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I just wanted to pick up the camera in case you know, there's a process that I can show here even though I missed all the other process. So there it is and we'll see what we do. All right, guys, here's your update. I first forgot to mention that I'm painting with my flash paints. And I'm also probably going to use some of my wax pastels. Wax soluble Neocolor 2 pastels. All that. So I decided to plop this lady in. I got a couple things out for inspiration. I just looked around the studio and I was like, okay, yeah, she looks fun. I think I want to put her in. I love how these binoculars right here are rendered. Oh no, I just got paint on that painting. Wow, interesting. Okay, you can see I started her right here and decided I didn't like that positioning, gave it just a quick wipe with a rug and those marks will just stay and then I moved her over. I also decided I wanted to put a cat under the table and I think what I'm gonna do, I'm leaving probably some of that banana yellow and green for the eyes and the gray color of the table. I'm gonna leave that for the cat and then make it kind of a black cat with that gray. I'm gonna see how that works. And that's all I have figured out so far. And then all of that may end up getting taken away at some point too. I'm just gonna kind of work and see what happens. There's your update of the day. Okay, so here we are at the end of the day. I wish I had shown you my mess over here because it was actually really pretty, but I've already cleaned up. I'm losing light in here because it's getting dark so early. So I just wanted to show you where the progress is. I'm feeling better about it. This guy may have to go though. I, I just can't decide yet or something needs to happen to him because she's looking a little more like a real life. And I kind of made her like on top of the table reaching down to the cat. I'm gonna do something maybe with her hand tomorrow, but I think the cat looks so stinking cute. I was quite happy with how he turned out. Happy with the simplicity of the table, I think. I definitely like this kind of resting area for your eye. And maybe it's because all of this is so busy, all right? A snowman may have entered. And I got that inspiration from, let me show you this. Cute little mug that I got. I don't remember where I picked this up, but I really think it's cute and I thought that I would use it, but these kind of cups, for some reason, I don't really care for drinking out of, but he's so cute. So he was my inspiration for that. There's a lot of the space that I'm okay with or that I'm actually like happy with. I'm not happy with this background right now. Something needs to happen, I think, here. I may make it look like a window. I don't know yet. I need to sleep on it. I need to come back with fresh eyes because I did so much today. The snowman may go also. He was just kind of fun to put in there. Yeah, all right. There's progress report of day 532. <laughs> just kidding. That's what it feels like. I guess I've really actually now worked on this. This is either day three or four. I can't remember. I've lost track of time, but yeah, it's coming together, I think.
All right, guys, I got these, I don't even know really what you would call these, but kind of viewfinder things that I've had. And I'm thinking about, well, I'm, okay, let me finish this sentence. I'm playing around with, could this painting be better if I chopped some of it off? So I'm playing around with the composition and I'm using these to kind of help me frame it. I feel like it, I am feeling like it could be a stronger painting if I take all that out. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to play around with this a little bit and then maybe t like put paper over it and tape it off or something and put it up on the wall for me to live with it for a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just thinking that this could be better. Let's cover it up even more. Oh, that's not working. Okay. Whoops, whoops, whoops. You know that I usually don't do this kind of thing, that I normally would just paint another one, but I cannot get the rest of this painting like fixed i don't know and i feel like if i've got something working in this that it could be a better composition than you know hey why not i may chop it up i don't know i mean i did like this guy back here but maybe when i chop him off he'll be his own little thing i don't know i'm just psh, i don't really know what i'm doing guys and i will tell you i paint most of these kinds of paintings with my mirror Standing backwards, looking in my mirror, it's the only way I can tell if a painting is working or not. This kind of painting, because this is just so new for me, this kind of territory. Let's see if I can give you all a view of what I do. I've never tried this. I stand here like this, looking at it backwards, and it just does something. It's magic. I don't know. You just can tell so much better. I don't know why I've never tried to do like this before for you guys, but there it is. Eee. Okay, I'm going to go play around with this some more and see what I can get. So I'm going to still try to save the whole thing. After assessing, I did feel like once this lady goes and I need to resolve some stuff back here, I either need to bring the table up more. I'm going to try doing this rug a little more back here and see what happens. And I need to get rid of the snowman painting and maybe make this brighter or lighter. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to still resolve it and not touch these things down here that I really like. And then I still always have the option of chopping it. And I think I, he lost some hair, so I'm going to bring his hair up a little. <laughs> That's the update. The woman needs to go. Though I liked her, she needs to go. Yep. She's got to go. She's just not fitting. She's not fitting in this uh, painting. But I'm going to leave like this stuff. But she's going to go. All right. It is day 536. Just kidding. I can't remember if I showed you an update of this yesterday afternoon. But I'm in the studio fresh in the morning. I've been thinking about extending this table up some more. I do think this background helped. I think things are better. I... Yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'm tempted to bring this up and this area still needs major resolution. This does not. I'm fine with this. This is good. I like the simplicity of the table, but I'm going to do some things here. I do like this part of the rug though, but it needs to be extended. Yeah, so I just don't know. I'm going to just start slapping some stuff on. Not feel precious about things because who cares if I lose it. I can always bring something back and I may lose something that was good, but get something better. Here's all my get up. I'm just going to get to it, guys. And I am excited. I've not been painting much this week because I've been working on a video for you guys. So I've not been painting much, but I'm pretty excited about getting back to it. So another update okay i'm feeling a little better about the background i simplified some things this space has been bothering me but it dawned on me that if i'll put some more things on the table they can go up in that so i'm gonna i was just about to like give up on it but i'm gonna give that a try that's way too dark i gotta get rid of that and the other thing that's bothering me i like how i kind of saved this snowman but the shape is too similar do you see that it's uh, it's that's not good so i can't really make this smaller i could make it bigger would that work i could make it eh, i think i had it bigger before and i didn't like that so i think what i'm going to do is try making maybe this lamp shade bigger i don't yeah maybe i'll just be okay with it it's that's not a good like design composition kind of thing i'm feeling so over this painting Ugh. but I don't want to give up on it. I feel like it's almost there. Mm. So I'm going to just keep working. I don't really have anything new over on my table that would work 
well up here that like I need some kind of maybe something taller. So I think I'm going to, let's go over here and look at, I need to find some things over here in my still life little area. See if anything feels exciting to paint. I'm feeling like I probably need to pull one of these tall things. Yeah, I don't know. But something needs to come into the painting to help me. The other thing that I'll do is just kind of walk around and look at other still life paintings and get some ideas of objects. I've been doing that with this background, looking at other paintings and like, you know, of even my house, thinking, is there anything in there that I can pull out and put into my house, in my painting? And then I'm also gonna go get out some of my sketchbooks and flip through those to see if there's any objects that excite me. 